ever feel like you've been someplace before and or you've done something before that you could have sworn, you know, and then you're doing it again? It's like, it's called deja vu, you know? Well, that, we're having a deja vu moment here in Louisiana. <laughs> Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we're on a walking trail here at the park that we're in. We're going to take you on the trail. We're going to show you some of the things that we're seeing. And it's a cold day, but uh, man, you just got to get out and stretch your legs sometimes. Yeah. So the air is fresh. The air is very fresh. <laughs> it's exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> No mosquitoes. No. no was, yeah, this is a good time of year to come to Louisiana. There's no mosquitoes. <laughs> There's no birds. There's nothing. <laughs> it's, really, it's cold. We'll take you on the tour. Then we'll tell you a little bit about where we've been, what we've been up to, and what our plans are. Academia, Academia, yeah, Academia. <laughs> Academia. Acadiana. 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 So that's it. All right. Well, anyway, we think we've been here before. I'm pretty sure we have. We're pretty sure we've been here before. And we pulled in at night that time, too. <laughs> and then today it was rainy, 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 rainy. Ooh, that one fell down not too long ago. And now the rain finally lifted and we're just gonna try to get out for a little walk here. This is in Louisiana. Lafayette. Lafayette, yes. Lafayette, Louisiana. Hmm. See if the nature center is still open. If not, we'll just continue on down to the boardwalk here. I think I see a light on inside. Nice little campground. Not too many here. Okay, well the door was locked. Ooh, the this is kind of slippery here. Must be a little bit of ice, ice icy kind of. Uber. I don't think there's any wildflowers out here today. Oh. I just heard a noise. Oh well. Gary was in there earlier. He said there wasn't a lot in there. We had heard there were two live live uh, snakes down here. <clears throat> hey buddy. Hey you. He's focused. Very focused. Yeah, this does look really familiar. That was a few years ago, wasn't it? It was. Oh, and I remember I think we even went down there and you said something about watch for alligators. Snakes. <laughs> Snakes and alligators, but it's wet. It's very wet. So I think we will skip that part today. <clears throat> the sun was peeking out. I even put my sunglasses on. See? <laughs> I'm being very optimistic. Gotta watch where I'm going. So we're kind of bundled up here. <laughs> oh, down where do we go? Huh? Left? Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? I don't. You don't? <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. Yeah. All right, so where have we been? Yeah. We left Maypearl, Texas. While we were in Maypearl, the, the last Sunday that Gary was serving 
the church the last Sunday was they gave us a nice potluck dinner and had a lot of good visits with everybody to say goodbye. We're detained because of a week of icy rain, freezing rain, and we end up staying at almost a four, four days later than what we had planned. Yeah. Yeah. God. And then we headed over to the Tyler, where we, or Gary served a church a couple of years ago. We got to see friends there for a few days. That was awesome. And then we went to Houston to see my niece and my and her stepdad. And then we just started heading out. So now this is we are officially, officially on the road again. And we've been looking at different places to go, different things to see. And uh, tomorrow we're going to see if we can find some lighthouses. Well, <laughs> you don't have to look too hard to find a lighthouse. They're usually pretty big. Left. Left? Again? Okay. There is a highway. Uh, that'd be I-10, not too far from here. I do remember this, and we walked that way too. We walked along the water. We can do that, but... It's muddy. Yeah, we'll just go this. This looks new. Probably got damaged during a hurricane or something. They had to replace it. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're headed to warmer weather. Today, I think it's, uh, I think it was 48 for a high. For a high. And it was a feels like 40 or something like that. It's like, you ain't telling me nothing, I don't know. Okay, that is going to take us on a long way. Where are we going? Well, I'm not really sure. Oh, I thought you knew what you were doing. I trusted you. We're here. Well, we did. But that's going to go way down to who knows where. It's probably Bridgetown or a few miles. <laughs> or we go that way a long ways down. Okay, should we go back and go to one of these? <sighs> You know, I suppose it might have helped to pick up one of those maps that was out with the rock on the top Probably, of it. <laughs> Who needs maps? I think we walked along the canal before, out and back. Okay. Alrighty. We are heading to Florida. It is supposed to be warmer here tomorrow, starting tomorrow. It's supposed to start warming up tomorrow, just about everywhere. Um, this has just been a crazy cold spell and rainy. Oh my goodness, lots and lots of rain, which they all need that because it's been so drought, especially Texas was so dry all summer and, and into the fall. And now they're finally making up for it with a lot of rain. So we are looking at things to do on the way to Florida, instead of just making a beeline for it. We want to see what is on the way there. And so there's a possibility of a lighthouse or two. Yep. And so far, that's all we know. That's really that's bad. it. Well, there's a few parks along the way, but we don't know how wet they are. Yeah, that's the thing. We're going to have to watch kind of just day by day. Uh, we'll just have to just each day look and see what the weather's going to be. This boardwalk is slippery. Yeah, it's And I, I have good tread on my shoes here. So this is, it's got to be just, feels a little icy in some spots, I think. It's not ice. It's all the moss and stuff. It feels oily, slicky. You can wood. skate across this thing. It's treated wood, so it's slippery when it's wet. <sighs> okay. So if you hear a shriek and see a lot of sky and a plop in the <laughs> mud, you'll know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Oh, that would hurt. <laughs> Uh, oh, we also met some friends along the way um, that came down from northern, even further above 
Dallas that came down to meet with us for for uh, lunch one day. That was fun because we had we didn't have a chance to get up there. It's going to be harder and harder in Texas to do our route because we know so many people and people move from other areas and they go to other places and they go, are you going to come and see us? Oh, that's a cool tree. Very big. It probably doesn't look that big to you, but it's a big tree. Oh my goodness, it goes way, 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 way over that way. Get a wow, he's kind of bumpy too. Here, stand and stand closer to us so they can get for some perspective here. Oh, it doesn't look very big at all, and it's very big. Trust me, <laughs> it's oh gosh, I don't know. How big would you say that? Yeah, there you go. And this one, too. Wow, what are these? They're huge! All those vines. That's a tree growing next to a tree. Oh, that'd be a cool tree house up there. <laughs> oh, think of the storms they have weathered. I just recorded a whole spiel and then realized my camera wasn't even on. Wish you could have heard it. It was pretty good. Hey, it was. I hope I can remember what I said. We, the people parked next to us here at the at the park are from Nova Scotia, Canada. And he retired. They bought a pickup truck with a truck camper that slides into the bed of the truck. If you don't know what a truck camper is. And that's what they have been living in. They are on a six-month journey. That's the word that Gary added in my first commentary. <laughs> <laughs> and they're... They're, uh, they went from Nova Scotia, I'll show you the scenery here while I'm talking. They went from Nova Scotia all the way across, which is on the east side of Canada, all the way to British Columbia, and then came down the west coast, the Pacific coast of the United States. So they went through Washington, Oregon, California, and they went through Arizona and all all those and now they're they went through part of Texas and now they're in Louisiana and they're gonna keep going too and then they have to be back home they have six months they can only do this for six months I guess and man are they putting on the miles what a trip yeah. uh, for transportation if there's someplace local they have two bikes Otherwise, they take the truck and everything all right with them. It's all one one unit to go. Yeah, that'd be fun. We always have so many commitments and people to see, which is great. We love seeing our, our friends again and again. But we're adding more as we go. And it's getting harder and harder to navigate through Texas and some of the others. And if we start serving churches in Florida or Arizona, we're really going to be making road trips to try to fit everybody in. It's it's really we're very blessed. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh but it would be kind of neat to just travel and not have commitments, not have at least for a month or two. That'd be yeah, that'd be kind of neat. Don't know if we'd know how to act. We don't know how to act right now because we've been staying by other people. We've been uh, uh, staying in uh, parks, RV parks, which we don't do that. We didn't used to travel that way very much. But there were some cold spells and we knew we needed to have good heat and we wanted to have more than just the furnace to rely on and um, other things to uh, make it more convenient to see people. So we've, we're have we just not traveling the way we started out Right. back in 2017. We're maturing. We're I don't know trying. if we're maturing or if we're getting more chicken. <laughs> we're, 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 doing, <laughs> we're doing things differently than we used to. When we first started out, oh my gosh, we didn't have any plans for anything. We just had, we just beelined it right across. 
from Wisconsin to British Columbia and got out there to see our family and and that yeah that was it we just we just started accumulating people as we went we're like tumbleweeds <laughs> or snowballs or something and we're just accumulating more and more oh my gosh look at the size of this one oh wow <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. What are these? It's not a sycamore. Does anybody know what these trees are? Because an American sycamore would have a white tr um, trunk. Oh my gosh, that is massive. Look at the moss. <sighs> oh, wow. Not in Wisconsin, that's for sure. Oh, it's got moss on both sides. Look at that. Just one of the branches is bigger than most trees. He's very, very old. Has withstood a lot of hurricanes and storms. Gosh. Yeah. We'll skip this trail too. <laughs> Looks a little muddy. There's a tree blocking part of it. It's muddy all through there. You know, we got to start thinking about getting rain boots. <laughs> Good old rain boots. Like the kids wore when they were kids. Little kids grandkids wear pink ones with little flowers on them <laughs> I don't know what what I'll wear but you know I just cowboy, some, <laughs> cowboy. oh yeah we can get some rain boots that look like cowboy huh. boots that'd be cool I wonder if they make them these are the most interesting things here actually it was kind of a cool time of day to be going through here but we're not going to see much for wildlife no. Maybe tomorrow. You can, yeah, yeah, tomorrow the sun's supposed to come out. That'll be good. It looks like it's been pretty wet here for a while. This is so mossy, green. Well, That's it is Louisiana. It is Louisiana, I know, yeah, but wow. Very humid. Yeah. These trees. Oh, I wish I knew what they were. There's another one. So big. That one looks like he's ready to topple over. Look at that. Oh, some little animal must live in there. Oh, that is so cool. I gotta take pictures. Last night when I was falling asleep, I could hear a an owl hooting. When we were in Maypearl, we heard coyotes howling. <laughs> but here we hear. But now we're, oh dear. I think we have to turn around. I think we've come to the end of the road. And do what? Yeah. Not without the rain boots. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're going to go back the way we came. Now we get to see the other side of what we didn't see on the way here. Yeah, so you got to be flexible when you travel, that's for sure. <laughs> you just never know. Wind, high winds, and rain, and uh, severe weather, we're going to be watching for that. Snow. Uh, <laughs> hope we don't see any more of that for a long time. <laughs> Tornadoes. And yeah. Hail. All that good Yeah, stuff. hopefully we won't be getting into any of that. Bird. 
well ahead of the hurricane season here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no no trouble, no worries about hurricanes right now. Yeah, all the fun things about traveling. But it feels really good. It does. When Gary and I left Houston and we were finally heading away from people we know and visiting people we know and just heading to who knows where for sure. We just, it was kind of fun because we started talking about different things we want to do and see and and some of the traveling that we want to do and maybe different ways of traveling. <laughs> or we got a lot of thoughts on that. I don't know if I could give up our RV home, but we might think about getting into some a little bit different kind of an RV maybe. Be kind of fun to build one. Not not the whole thing from the ground up, but I mean the inside of one. Take take an old box truck, and make it into an RV. Or something. Or a van, make that into an RV. People do it. There's tons of YouTube videos on that. The trouble with it is it takes months to do a project like that. And you kind of need a sheltered place to yeah. build it, which we don't have. Well, either that or you have to have another place to live while you're doing it. So just a few little things to iron out if we decide we'd want to do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't like thinking of the idea of settling down. People keep saying, when are you going to settle down? And the only ones that don't ask us that are the people who live full-time RV and they know what we're doing and they understand and they get it and it's hard to explain if you haven't done it and it's hard to explain why we like it so much. I'm having a hard time explaining it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just, uh, I had somebody that said to me, well, I like to have all the family pictures around me when I, when I come home. And I said, I have that. Well, I like to be in a comfortable bed. And I said, we have that. And she said, I just like to be surrounded by all the things I love. And I said, we have that. <laughs> we have our favorite things with us. Our home is where we park it. Are there times when we don't like it? Sure. Are there times when people don't like living in their house house? Yeah. So it's not, I mean, there's always going to be times when you're going to be, when you're not going to be happy with where you are. For a while. For a while. The difference is that we can pretty easily pack up and move. We don't like our neighbors. Oh gosh, we hear lots of complaints about neighbors when we go visit people sometimes. <laughs> if we get tired of the particular climate we're in, we can move a few hundred miles away. <laughs> well, and that's one of the things we've talked about too is Gary's been serving churches every winter and and then in the summers we, we're up by family and we're thinking about flip-flopping that. Maybe when we're up in the summers, we don't see a lot of the family anyway because they're working, the kids are working, the grandkids are working. So maybe instead of, maybe when we go up into Wisconsin in the summers, we could find a church that isn't too far away from family and start doing vacancies, serve vacancies then. And then in the winter, we can go wherever we want, whenever we want. And when there's nasty weather coming, we just move instead of sticking it out like we did this winter. Three, oh. three ice below, three uh, below freezing bouts, not days, bouts <laughs> that lasted. Some lasted for two, three days. Some lasted for, you know, longer. It's just, yeah, that's not what we signed up for. <laughs> We, we were, we want warm and sunny. And it'd be nice to have some options. I'll just do something different. We... 
don't fall into the same rut every year. Yeah. Although it's been good ruts for the most part. Yes. Right? Yes. We've really enjoyed meeting everybody and yeah. getting to make new friends everywhere we go. That's been cool. Seeing different parts of the country and seeing, but this last time, because of the weather and because of other factors, we didn't get to see as much as we wanted to. Like we didn't explore the area as much as we normally do. Yeah. I'm not sure how that all slipped by us, but we were there three months. So we gotta make sure we don't let that happen again. Right. All right, well, I think we're gonna end this here. Where? <laughs> we can't do that. He's, oh, that's right. That's, that's right. Camper Van Kevin's thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna just, uh, keep you posted on where we're going and what we're doing. And so you're gonna have to subscribe if you haven't yet, hit that little red button down below. And then next to it, a little bell's gonna pop up, ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Leave us a comment, ask questions, mm -hmm. what it's like for us, uh, whatever you want to know, just, just talk to us. We love your comments. And check out our Facebook page for other things. A lot of times I put um, um, some of my cooking on there, gluten-free, healthy cooking, sometimes it's veg a lot of times vegetarian, sometimes vegan. So you might want to check that out. And until next time, God bless. God bless. <laughs>